The Flamingo Pink Towers on Highway 50 in Ocoee were once a ritzy hotel turned into timeshares and condos. From Sky Witness 9, you can see just how filthy the place is today. The city condemned the Colony Plaza for code violations. Seven years later, it still stands as a canvas for graffiti artists and a home for the homeless. And it's just getting worse. It's never going to get better. We asked the mayor why the city can't tear the place down and send the owners the bill. There's due process of law. And unfortunately, by the time we get through with it, it was going to have cost all of our taxpayers probably about a half a million dollars. The city has to notify more than 600 owners before the building can be torn down. Many of them live outside the U.S. So far, the city has spent $200,000 trying to find them. When Richard Lorenz was 15 years old, he was paid 100 bucks to knock down a neighbor's garage. I, don't know, I guess I've always been reckless. He spent the last 45 years in the demolition business. His appetite for destruction is now turned on the old pink Colony Plaza Hotel in Ocoee. Once one of the fanciest in Central Florida, today, an eyesore. If there isn't a bridge or, uh, or, or a smokestack or a water tower or a huge building that I go by and right away the mind says, now how would I bring that thing down? He'll use 600 sticks of dynamite on this one and while his team wired the building, so did Eyewitness News. I position this in a spot. Rich was thinking on a spot on this side to show that side going down. There you go, you're right. it's totally out of the frame. We have put cameras inside the building and outside the building to take you where you wouldn't want to be Saturday morning at 7.05. That's when the 40-year-old hotel will come down. Several Channel 9 cameras will be rolling, including one high above at 2,000 feet. It's a rare occasion that you get to see something like this from the air. It'll be a big bang not seen in Central Florida since the implosion of the old Orlando City Hall 18 years ago. That one was shot by a film crew for a Mel Gibson movie. No Hollywood stars for the Colony Plaza, just Richard Lorenz, who will bring down the house. The neatest thing about wrecking is that you never wreck the same structure twice. From WFTV, this is Channel 9 Eyewitness News at noon. Coverage you can count on. It used to be the fanciest hotel in Central Florida, built for Disney goers. This morning, it only took a few seconds for a demolition team to bring down the old Colony Plaza Hotel. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Elizabeth Arts. You saw that demolition live on Channel 9 this morning. The city of Ocoee paid $600,000 to destroy the old pink eyesore. Channel 9's Barron Peterson has been live in Ocoee since before sunup this morning. And Barron, the next phase of the demolition is already underway. Mm-hmm, they got to haul it all away, and that is a lot of concrete and steel back there. The city condemned this building eight years ago, and the process that started way back then ended today. Five, four, three, two, one. Watch what 630 sticks of dynamite can do. Go! 
standing for 40 years, the Colony Plaza Hotel fell in 18 seconds. Your heart almost burst. Richard Lorenz is the man who brought down the house. Everybody enjoyed the show. Well, it was pretty exciting. The crowd got a ooh and a ah out of it. Reminds me of when I used to shoot fireworks off and shoot one up and in and go bang and everybody go ooh, ah, you know. Back in the day, it was one of the fanciest hotels in Central Florida. Today, 15,000 tons of rubble. Mission accomplished. Uh, I'm getting reports that there is no damage anywhere for any other building. So uh, everything went really good. I'm extremely happy. An interesting tidbit, all that rubble will be recycled into new concrete and paving material. Now, Channel 9 had five cameras rolling for the implosion, and this is one of them. We had this thing mounted inside the building up on the sixth floor. Now, unfortunately, we lost the picture right before the Big Bang, but as you can see, we found the camera. How this thing wasn't smashed to bits, I'll never know. We're live in Ocoee. Barrett Peterson, Channel 9, Eyewitness News.